Still in Ethiopia, it has one of Africa's largest military forces, with an armed force of about a quarter of a million men in arms. The small East African country also happens to manufacture quite a few military vehicles for local use and for export as well. The country, however, now wants to expand its military industry beyond the battlefield and into hard dollars. For what's hot tonight, Girum Chala got fairly rare access into what is presumed by some to one of Africa's biggest military equipment manufacturing plants. This is of very few military equipment plants on the continent. This one specializing in the manufacture of military vehicles and guns. It is located some 45 kilometers outside of Addis Ababa. It operates under the Ethiopian Defense Forces Metals and Engineering Corporation. The main duty of this plant is strengthening the Ethiopian Defense Forces by producing armed heavy-duty vehicles, including the glorious T-72 tank. This plant does works of assembling, upgrading, overhauling, and localizing military and civilian vehicles, and all is done by local engineers using the support from foreign partners. Heavy armored vehicles like these ones get manufactured and assembled here until they are ready for duty. There are uh, products of uh, different cars over there, heavy loads, and also there are manufacturing of uh, defense industries as well. So this is a result of our policy and our commitment of the government and uh, the direction we are following. Ethiopia has about 250,000 armed forces, making the force one of the strongest on the continent. But the nation wants to spread this strength beyond the battlefields. This Bischofto automotive engineering plant was opened four years ago, aiming to be a significant contributor to the country's economic growth. When we say assembling, perhaps what we did before when we began, we used to import almost everything from abroad. But now, we have managed to do things on our own, and that is our biggest job. For instance, we do not import tires. Batteries and all bodyworks of the vehicles are done here locally. Even we get spare parts from the Addis Ababa market. What we are doing here is so exciting even for us. Us as women, we even manufacture the T-72 tanks as the men do. We do all sorts of activities in this plant. The plant has created deep trade ties with some African states for the provision of both military and civilian vehicles. These battle machines, for instance, are manufactured for the African Union peacekeeping mission in Somalia. Bishop Automotive Engineering has seven different plans. We are interested to get in the market because uh, around the region there is no such uh, big factories. So we are trying to produce cars and uh, defense products for the region and uh, most of our neighbors are start to, starting to enter the market to buy the products of uh, our country. So we are very encouraging to continue this way. The future looks to be bright for Ethiopia's plan of rapid economic growth. But economists suggest the nation must focus on alleviating knee-deep poverty. Krumtala, CCTV, Bishotu, Ethiopia.